Well, first of all, about the 77 sailors who are not here, um, how many of them are still employed and won't be coming back on a repatriation flight soon, and how many failed their, their arrival requirements and are waiting? The 77, all of them are required to come back, uh -huh. the whole 77. 64 of them are on cargo vessels. 13 of them are the remaining sailors that were employed on cruise vessels. The whole 64 are still employed on cargo vessels. It's only the 13 that were left behind, that were working, employed on um, cruise. Those are the ones that are unemployed. Uh -huh. And they're the ones who didn't meet the travel requirements yes. to come home? Yes, that's true. Okay, and of those ones you've discussed that were meant to, weren't meant to come through Dubai, can you just help me understand what happened to the other four? that you described that there was something three out of seven of them got stuck in New Zealand and where are the other four, if I understood you right? The four, that four is include is included in the thirteen in that Dubai. is yes. Okay. Are they in Dubai? They're in Dubai. Okay. So the three are also part of that thirteen that are in New Zealand? Three. Three of them have been quarantining in New Zealand with uh, with our you know the arrangements uh, with uh, New Zealand government. Oh I see. So they'll be quarantined there for 14 days before they come to Samoa. Right. That three, those three, it's not included in that 13. Okay. Um, so was that a bit of a complicated effort to get those three into quarantine? Because I suppose they weren't supposed to be able to have a space in, <coughs> in New Zealand quarantine. Yes, um, there, were, there were obviously issues, uh, especially with uh, the New Zealand immigration. Uh, but that uh, the issues the issues we sort out uh, on a bilateral relationship, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you know we thank the government of New Zealand for uh, for their kind consideration of the three guys in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. Do we know how that happened that they were able to, to get to New Zealand kind of by accident? I guess. No, it's Emirates because you know it's the uh, in New Zealand, uh, in New Zealand partners with the United Emirates, so the United Emirates were. Uh, uh, actually, pulled the guys from from Dubai to to Auckland, and then New Zealand picks every New Zealand picks up the guys from. So it's between that uh, the Dubai New Zealand leg. Okay. okay, thank you. Um, and about the quarantine testing. So obviously, you've done the first of the set of tests. Um, what days are the are the next test scheduled? Because you're having them for three weeks now. Will they do more than one more test before they leave? Or just one more at the end of the three weeks. Yeah, Lena, so not to lay the lady for my so less so Lena file it test the tow of my file test the tow of my less so to not less for lady test all mana go or less so long a lima go a test a four ila go malasso mulbuli and also a less so full farm on the body less so far less so long so far less a good test a four good test for the after that yeah and good test for the bad release. So they'll be tested on the 14th day and then again before they're released on the 21st. Okay, thank you. Um, are there any extra measures in their quarantine facilities? Are they being asked to wear masks more often than maybe usual or have any of them... Um, yeah, sorry, are, are there any extra measures in quarantine compared to the previous? Free mask, social distancing. So they're wearing masks yeah. in public spaces and things like that? They're not going anywhere but There's no within the hotel room. Okay. Are any of them double bunking? Yeah. Um, and about the COVID case that's now been discovered in Northland in New Zealand, will um, can, if you got anything to say about how Sam was reacting to that development in terms of future repatriation flights? Community transmission. It's not a community transmission. At the moment, they believe the case came uh, was infected in their quarantine hotel. So they came through the Netherlands, but they um, only tested positive, I think, 10 days after they left quarantine, which is why they believe they were infected in quarantine. Why are your cases for being high? Oh, my super, so I had the MI. Oh, yeah, be a mobile look for Cassia, so I had the MI. Oh, wing a phone, oh, wing a mile for my eight. A little mile, my lady, eight or ten. Oh, I can work a little bit. Could kill a boy. And so, based on what's going on, will you be having all of the upcoming quarantine? 
to be three weeks as well, or at the moment you're still starting with two? Well, and then well it's uh, we'll, we'll decide on a case by case. You know, it's uh, the reason why we've opted for 21 days is that these guys travel from outside New Zealand and from some of the hotspot countries. Yeah. Um, so um, Laosa will advise the committee on uh, the X amount of quarantine days, whether it's 14, whether it's 21. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. And um, just two more, very quickly. Um, do you have a date for when you intend to publicise what the country's vaccine deployment kind of plan is going to look like? If you've got a tentative schedule for when you, you'll be doing some, like, something like a press conference or a public awareness? No offense, public awareness. The planning for for give me the home way. I see. Okay, thank you. Um, and I just wanted to confirm, sir, if it's still accurate to be calling you the interim chair of the NEOC or if that's changed? We will come back to you on that um, and to the rest of the of the media family. All right. uh, there's been discussion in the pipeline uh, for that. In the meantime, it's still safe, it's still preferable to the committee to call me the interim chair.